Welcome. Welcome to our June celebration. We've got a lot of honored guests in the house. All of our truck drivers, please raise your hands. We've got a couple of you guys out here, a million milers, some trainers. Let's kick off the celebration with Leslie Vincent. 18 years. Time. Next we have Ugo Batello, 12 years.
lot of great people to recognize, so we'll applaud at the end. Let's recognize Pat Burns for 16 years of service up in the Northeast. We've got Marisol. Please, thank you. Five years. I froze on that one. Juan Renteria, four years. C. Rogue Villanueva, four years. Jason Garcia, two years. Anais Castillo, two years. Ezequiel Rivera, one year. Alex Bradford, one year. Woo! I'm going to drop the mic on that one. So we've got a lot of birthdays. If your name is on here, you'll go into a drawing. And now we're on to new hires. The driver or the employee services department's been very busy hiring Candace Lott, our new driver manager. Where are you, Candace? She's somewhere. Ashley, uh, Edgar, Josh, and Boo. So we got more. Omar Torres, I think he belongs to someone here. Right? Cassandra, Mandy, Derek, and William. Please make them feel welcome. So who loved the company picnic last Friday? And these things don't happen by accident. There were a lot of great uh, volunteers who worked their, their tush off uh, to, make it, to make it a great place for your kids and your families. And again, I just feel like every year beats the year before. So special shout out to all of the folks up here. And hopefully we caught, to, caught you in action. So good times. Now we're on to our wellness update. You know, I have some really exciting stuff to talk about. Um, Eye care, I'll talk about this through August 31st, till August 31st. The, uh, we, we've had a couple of draw dates already here. A lot of you guys have already taken part of that, part of those. But we do have uh, another one coming up in about a month um, here on site. And so I encourage you guys, if you haven't scheduled your eye care screening or haven't taken care of it, get that scheduled here on site at this team event from 7 to 11 on the 29th. Um, your spouse, if your spouse is on the benefit plan, they can also come up here and have that done at the draw event too. It's pretty simple. It's the quickest way to get it done. Uh, we also have one on August 31st. That'll be the, also the deadline for eye care to get the screening completed. So that's the, the last day. So we thought it'd be smart to have a, a team event that day as well. And then to get scheduled, um, first thing you need to do before you get scheduled is a lot of you have done this already. Go online, log in to this website, which I send out every morning. Um, and complete the questionnaire, the real short questionnaire. And then we prefer that all of our office employees in Tulsa go to one of the team events. It's just quicker, it's easier. If you can't do that, or feel uncomfortable with getting a draw out from God and everybody here, um, you can have it done in the clinic over there or one of the clinics in Tulsa. Um, the other way to get it done, and when you do the, the questionnaire, you'll just check all attend a draw where I work. That's the draw event. The other option, um, if you live near one of the Care ATC clinics or you'd rather do that, you can check, um, I'll go to a Care ATC clinic and have it done there. Um, there are some, and we, we really would like all of our drivers to go to Tulsa or Laredo to be screened. You're gonna get a better screening, it's more cost effective for us to do it that way. Um, but the spouses that maybe live pretty far away from a Care ATC clinic, um, you can go to a care, you can go to a lab court. So that's what we, we We'll have those folks going to. So there's a place to check. It says, I'll go to an outside facility. So that's the lab report. So if you have questions on getting screened, I know it sounds real complicated, but it's really not. If you have questions about getting your screening or scheduling it, let me know. Give me a call, and I can be glad to help you out. All right, we're cutting people off. But there are, uh, we just recently had a pretty fun thing. We had women in the weight room. It was a three part series. We had um, 45 ladies complete this. I think we're missing about 10 in this picture. Um, but we had, and they're still getting cut off. We had um, 45 ladies complete this, it was three hours. The first session was in the classroom, the second two were both in the gym. Um, and it's been really cool to see a lot of the, the ladies in this picture up here getting into the gym. So, which I haven't, maybe I haven't seen some of in the gym ever. Um, but we're getting more and more in there, which is really, really cool. Um, a big shout out to um, Christy Weathers for helping, helping me put this on. It was kind of an idea we had just to have kind of this women in the weight room thing. I've had some guys ask if we're gonna have a men in the weight room probably need to because they've got the worst form in the gym of all probably. So that's something we may be working on as a men in the weight room. So just uh, thanks to all the ladies who signed up and completed this and, and 
spend three hours of their, their life with me. So thank you. Oh, and I'm going to pass the mic on to Christina Buxton. rolled out at the beginning of June. If you recall, there was an email about MD Live. It is our telehealth um, virtual care anywhere. So if you're in the office, your truck, at home, you are able to access a certified doctor or counselor at any time. Um, I've heard really great success from other employers that um, some of their employees have used the service for um, child has an earache at home, late at night, they call up, they're able to get a prescription right away. Um, it's also a cheaper copay to go into the emergency room. Remember our copay is a $200 copay. An urgent care copay is $60 as well. So I'll be sending out some more information, but we're real, real excited about the benefit. Thank you. Okay. Operations and sales, how's the freight? Yeah. 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 Well, I'll, I'll brag on her anyway, just, I believe last week she collected $8,000 of tolls that were added on to what is a, a traditional regular freight rate, if you will. So that's a terrific uh, effort on her part, and, and uh, I know Dana Price are working with the sales folks and, and operations to, uh, to start doing it. We pay $3 million a year, Robert, in tolls. Yeah, a little more than $3 million a year, and it keeps going up. A lot of the states are... Uh, the, the, Politicians like the guts to raise fuel taxes, so they just put tolls on the roads uh, as if that's not a tax. So anyway, great work in Camille's part and the others in, uh, inside sales, I know, are working on that also. So, no, freight remains very strong. Um, we just actually decided on our truck order for 2019, truck and trailer order, and we're getting that in line because the truck manufacturer has been very busy. We want to make sure that there are slots available for us, so indeed there are. So, um, just lots of exciting things going on. I think we'll have another very strong month. We had Eddie and Chris to sell them trucks like uh, hotcakes, and uh, so good work over there, guys. So just good things going on everywhere. Um, good things going on everywhere. <laughs> okay, I have one last little thing I want to talk about that's real, it's actually really cool and very important. Let's go to the next slide. And, yeah, we, we pranked our little buddy here, Angie. Angie was just given a really cool award um, by the Truckload Carriers, by the Truckload Carriers Association. I'm going to read this for it. Uh, she was just presented this here last week, I think it was. And it says, this honor is bestowed upon the trucking industry professional whose actions and achievements have made profound contribution to enhancing safety on North America's highways. And so, Angie, our Angie, our 20, almost 22-year veteran Angie, won this award in front of all of her uh, peers uh, at a prestigious um, uh, ceremony. So anyway, very proud of you, my girl. Oh. Anyway, that's all we have to say. Let's go back to moving freight.